my name is Amanda and I'm an emergency medicine physician assistant at Robert Johnson Somerset. Um, being a physician assistant in the emergency department means that day to day I see patients and try to diagnose and treat their illnesses. Um, this involves examining patients, getting a thorough history, which means asking them questions to try to figure out what's wrong with them um, and why they're coming to the emergency department. They order diagnostic tests such as x-rays, CAT scans to help us um, diagnose patients and ultimately get them the care that they need. Um, being a physician assistant though is a great career because you don't have to work in the emergency department, you can work in a doctor's office, um, any specialty, and the nice thing about being a physician, ass physician assistant versus a physician is that you don't have to retrain and go through another residency program. So one day if I just woke up and decided I don't want to work in the emergency department anymore, I could work in primary care, any other specialty of my choice. I was introduced to this career um, when I was in high school, so around your guys' age. Um, so I started volunteering in an emergency department at, in my community, and um, I was actually shadowing a physician. I had never heard of what a physician assistant was before, but I saw some people that were doing similar tasks to the physician in the department that were a little bit younger. And I remember thinking, hmm, how did they become you know, a provider um, at this young age? So what's nice about being a physician assistant is you do have to go to some very vigorous schooling, but it's not quite as long as being a physician. So traditionally you go for your undergraduate degree, so that's four years, and then you go to grad school, which is two years, to get a master's in physician assistant studies. I did an accelerated program where um, in five years I got my, both my bachelor's and master's degree. Um, all of the information is fit into those five years by going to school for three of the summers. Um, and then I did opt to do a residency in emergency medicine after that. However, that's not necessary to be a physician assistant. Um, so the great thing is that I am 26 years old. I've been a PA for three years. And um, you know, in these three years, I've had you know, amazing experiences and have learned so much. So that's what you know attracted me to being a PA versus a physician is not only the flexibility in specialty, but the fact that I'd be able to start my career earlier and accumulate less debt. So if you're interested in medicine and have an interest in um, patient care, I highly recommend looking into the physician assistant career.